Well boys and girls, that place there is the Japanese Immigration Center and I hate going there. One of the, the bad things about being a foreigner is you have to register every like year if you're a, uh, you know like not a particularly decent citizen or three years in my case and just going there sucks. It's now 2.30, I got there at 10 o'clock and when I got my like ticket, you know, like the ticket machine for how long I have to wait, my number was 2,226. And when I looked at the screen, it was only on like 1,800 something. I was like, oh my God. So yeah, I just had to sit there, wait for ages. And then eventually when I got seen, um, they told me that some of the paperwork was missing. So I had to write it again. And then my picture, the photograph was over a year old. So I had to pay to get a new photograph taken. Just, Oh, I just hate going there. It's full of like complete scumbags as well. I don't know how the hell these people get visas. Like literally looking like a Mexican cartel, like gang members with tattoos on their necks and their face and shit. Like what the hell are they getting visas for, I wonder? And they're just like completely obvious prostitutes in there as well like chicks who probably come straight from work still wearing like the fishnet leggings and shit it's such a funny place but man it just drains you like having to sit there with all these assholes yeah it's pretty funny anyway but anyway now i finished that and seeing as i'm in the this particular area like down by the down by the sea there's a place that i wanted to go to for a long time that's like um it's kind of like a place where they do boat cruises, like river cruises. There's um, a particular boat that's like a, an izakaya, which is basically just like a Japanese uh, like restaurant. Well, it's not really a restaurant, but you know, like you get food on stick, like chicken on sticks, like kebabs and um, just sort of kind of like snack food. But there's a all you can drink bar on there as well. So I'm just going to go and check out, see if I can get a, a leaflet or something, because their website's pretty shit, so oh, I kind of want to do that. I think it'd be cool to cruise down the river eat, eating dinner and drinking beer. So we're going to head over to there now, take a look, and then I haven't eaten anything yet, because I've been there since 10am, so I want to find somewhere to eat some something nice, so I'll take you with me to the restaurant as well. But yeah, what a day to spend on your day off, stuck in a freaking immigration office. Anyway, it's over now. Oh, let's both drive the same speed in both lanes. Yeah, good idea. Oh, fuck off. Assholes. Weather's still lovely as well, considering it's November the 14th. Nice and sunny. Again, I don't really need my winter jacket, but it's kind of windy today, so when you're riding, it feels cold anyway. Walking around feels lovely. So the rest of this journey is pretty much a straight road, so I'll see you guys there. Alright, so I've made it to the place that I wanted to come to. I'm not quite sure what this building is. There's loads of dudes wearing orange uniforms, so maybe the fire brigade or something is doing some kind of training here yeah, it's a nice little area though so what's this building there's a big bell on the top of it I doubt it's a lighthouse anyway <laughs> oh there's a sign it's written in English by the looks of it oh, nice view of the water here So yeah, here's this old building. Let's have a look what it is. Hopefully it's written in English. Is it? Is it? Yes, it is. Oh well, I guess I was wrong when I said it can't be a lighthouse. Night light of Atsta Port. This is the site of the Atsta terminal of the ferry which served the Seven Re, approximately 27 kilometers between Atsta posting station and Kuana town on the old Tokaido highway. <coughs> the night light was built by Naruse Masatora, chief retainer of the Owari clan in 1625. The present light is a replica built in 1955. Hmm, it's pretty cool. 
even if it is a replica it's still pretty cool 1955 that's old as hell for Japanese standards they just tear down buildings every 20 years pretty much over here hmm let's see what these guys are up to This one's not written in English. There it is. In 1826, Mizutani Hoban, medical, medicinal herb researcher and his students, including Ito Keisuke, met a German physician, Philip Franz von Siebold, who was accompanying a Dutch delegation to Edo and, Edo, and asked him to share his knowledge with them. Hmm. Yes, they're training. The orange uniform is the fire brigade, I think. Maybe the police, because they're in blue. Hmm. Not sure. So, can we get down into the water? This is obviously where they do that thing from the the cruise, it's called the Samurai Cruise which is like the, the restaurant with the all you can drink bar on it hmm water's not too disgusting here considering it's a river and they're training in the boat over there as well man there's a cool, some cool ass boats over there Look, palm trees as well. I always, always can't get get over the fact that I live in a city where there's palm trees everywhere. It seems like such a, like a tropical exotic thing, and this city's not exactly trop tropical or exotic. But this is a Yamaha boats uh, sales place. I don't know if you call it a showroom or not, but Yamaha Yamaha authorized something. He says, "Man, nah, I'd love a boat." Yeah, and this l nice little pavilion over here where you can have a drink. Little old guy in there. As I want to try and interact with people in my videos, I might as well say hello to the old guy. <laughs> See if I can get him to say hello. いい場所でね、ここ。<笑>休憩します。<笑>ちょっとあのー、今日ちょっとまあクワナまで行った今日。なので帰りはちょっとバイクでも疲れた。<笑>これなんか冬用のジャンパーけどまだ寒くないだからちょっと暑いすぎる。<笑>あ本当？じゃあフル前に帰る。<笑>向こうは何、なんか工事やってるの。ここうん。ここああ。ああ、本当、工場。ああ。そうね。これ、隣もヤマハなんとか。そうね。私のバイクもヤマハ。<笑>いいでしょじゃあ、行ってきます。ありがとうね。Oh, that was a nice old man. I turned the camera off because I didn't want to just, you know, have a camera poked in his face the whole time. But he said he remembers this area when there was no buildings over there. It was just all like rice fields and stuff. And obviously, like the. The history of the place goes back to the Edo. Well, I don't know. I can't remember what year that, what, what decade that is, that is exactly. But I think it's bef before Meiji. I think like before all the foreigners started coming into Japan. So maybe 1800s. But I'm not a history buff. Well, I am, but 
I don't really know much about Japanese history. But uh, yeah, I'll uh, I'll check that out. I'll write that on the screen for you guys. Anyway, that was a nice little trip. So now let's go and get some food. All right, so just arrived at a really popular area in the city, which is called Osu. This is like a basically like this city's version of Aki Akihabara, you know, like where all the nerds hang out in Tokyo. Sorry guys if I offend you and hear you, any of you by saying that. But uh, yeah, there's all like costume, like cosplay events and like weird shops and like uh, shops that sell dolls and toys and video games and stuff and like really weird clothes. It's kind of like, a, why is, I want to go in gear. So yeah, I'll uh, find somewhere to park up and uh, find some food to eat. It's like an in indoor, like um, a covered market kind of thing. There's a couple. There's a couple of cool shops here. Actually, there's like a, a nice ah uh, oh, this this shop here. Farmers, American used wear, funny goods. They sell like all cool leathers and stuff in there, and like interesting. Um, like leather waistcoats and just kind of like bike bike stuff but it's all like trendy people Nagoya curry after you lady and then I think on the right here maybe I'm at the wrong end yeah I'm at the wrong end there's a really nice Brazilian chicken shop leather belt shop there my friend used to have a shop here but now it's closed down Wait a minute, this is where the chicken shop is there, also Brazil. So maybe we should stop and check it out. I'll show you what the inside of the market looks like. It looks kind of like, kind of like a touristy place, lots of foreigners here. Nerds. <laughs> yeah, clothes like that is pretty popular around here. And this is that really nice Brazilian Brazilian chicken place. Tempted to get that, but it's not really Japanese, is it? Like rotisserie chicken. But yeah, so anyway. Ah, Indian curry shop. All sorts of cool stuff. Anyway, plenty of chances to get some food, so let's park the bike somewhere more sensible so we don't get a parking ticket. What's this Watanabe? Also, Hokkaido and French, like a mix of different cuisines, French and Japanese together. Hmm, looks fun. Actually, I don't think there is anywhere to park a bike around here. I can't afford to get another ticket. I got a ticket last week. And the bad thing about tickets in Japan is it's not just money. If it was money, I wouldn't really care because it's only like um, 90 bucks. It's like 9,000 yen for a ticket. But they give you fucking points on your license as well. And I'm, I'm really not sure if I've got a license at the minute or not because I've got six points, which I think means game over. So yeah, I've got to be careful. Huh. Sorry, everyone. Sorry to spoil your nice quiet with my stupid bike I could probably get away parking down here to be honest yo those are <laughs> I am allowed to do that by the way I don't know why everyone's staring at me uh, maybe it's just got a big stupid freaking camera hanging off my helmet yeah that's probably it Right, but I don't want to get a ticket. Where the hell can I park? Oh, that guy's parked there. So is that guy. Pretty sure there's no actual bike parking in this area though. If I was to park on the sidewalk like I did last time, there's a chance I get another two points and then I'm definitely fucking banned. I got six points in like the space of three months. Once we're at an intersection that was left and right only, I went straight. Didn't realise. Then I got busted for riding on the sidewalk. 
and then all I did was park my this bike outside while I was doing some work on the CBR and I got another ticket and two points so I'm pretty sure I'm banned I got a letter from the police in the post but it was like a signed for so I didn't sign for it <laughs> I'm just <laughs> just delaying it hopefully if I don't know by the time that I actually really find out the ban will be over because I think it's only a one month ban <laughs> I have no I have no cops are watching this video yeah but as you can see it's kind of a cool trendy little place can I go left? no that's the actual market I don't want to turn in there oh that guy's parked on the street fuck it fuck it Fuck it, I'm tempted to just park it here. Seems like a place where you wouldn't get busted. I don't know. What do we think? Alright guys, so I stopped for some lunch, but I kind of cheated today and got a kebab. So it's not very Japanese, I know, but I stopped here so I could see my bike. So I make sure I don't get a ticket. Okay, bye bye. Well guys, just by pure luck, I found a shop full of spices. So, I just bought myself some curry mix. So I got myself all these yummy things. So next time I'll be making my own curry again. I was pure, purely by chance at the restaurant that I went and chose. This was right opposite. So that was lucky. Anyway, homeward bound. That was a nice little lunch there and luckily I found that Indian food shop well not Indian Asian food shop so anyway time to head on home so guys if you like these kind of videos where I kind of interact with the Japanese populace and uh, you know like explore old sites or you know like cool places in the city or whatever give me a, a comment because I kind of like make do it, making these videos and it's super easy because I don't have to ri ride like hundreds of kilometers into the mountains and shit like that. So if you like these videos, give me a, a like or a comment. And of course, please subscribe to my channel. Alright guys, see you on the next video.